What's going on, YouTube fam? This is the Wealth Investing Network. We do this for the win. You're getting a sneak peek into my stock portfolio and a sneak peek into my research on stocks. Today, we're doing an update video on ChargePoint and Romeo Power Technology. We're talking about the merger. RMG acquisition has merged with Romeo Power and Switchback Energy acquisition has a merger date for ChargePoint. Before we get into it, I have to ask you to please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already because it helps the channel grow and that helps me create better content for you. That's a win-win and we like that here at the Wealth Investing Network. So the big news is that the merger date for Switchback and ChargePoint is likely in mid-February. There'll be a vote with the shareholders on February 11th and the deal will close shortly after that. So the current ticker symbol SBE will change to something more reflective of ChargePoint. Drop a comment if you know what that ticker symbol is gonna be. I also want to note that if this talk of SPACs or special purpose acquisition companies seems unfamiliar to you, check out my video on SPACs. Also, if you just want to know more about ChargePoint and Romeo Power Technology, I covered them on a recent video and you can check that out in the cards or in the description. Feel free to pause this video and come right back because I want to move quickly here. So. As we know, Romeo Power Technology completed their merger with RMG Acquisition. They make these high-tech battery packs for heavy vehicles, and they have very impressive range on these. You could check that out for yourself. I'll include links to the investor presentation. I highly recommend that you look at these investor presentations if you're thinking about getting into these stocks. And you can judge for yourself how impressive you think these numbers are, or if you think that their projections are a little too optimistic. Romeo Power has some impressive deals lined up, including with Republic Services. You've probably seen these trash trucks before. And if all goes well, these bad boys will have a Romeo Power battery in them. Moving on to Switchback Energy, we know that there is a lot of hype around EV stocks. And we know that if what a lot of people are talking about comes true, charging will be very, very important. Potentially this technology can get faster. Currently you can charge a normal electric vehicle in about 30 minutes with a DC fast charge. And ChargePoint is a leader in the charging industry. It's hard to say how they compare with Tesla, but according to their investor presentation, their closest competitors don't even come close to the network that they've built. And they've got very impressive growth. These numbers are in the millions. It's an expensive business, so they're not profitable yet, but if top line revenue is gonna grow at about 50% or more a year, for years to come, that is impressive and that can move a stock. So look, I said I was going to move quickly here, so I'm going to jump right into my analysis. If you've seen the channel before, you know I like to put these companies head to head. However, because we're pre-merger as of the recording of this video, we don't have very good numbers for ChargePoint and Romeo Power is so new that I really want to emphasize that these are rough estimates. I'm getting a lot of my numbers based on these investor presentations, and I highly recommend you do your own research because I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. If you're here to follow my journey, great. I'm glad you're here, and these videos are for entertainment. So we know that SBE is a blank check company. Blank check companies don't have any revenue or net income margin or any of those things, but I marked out in gray what I believe are charge points rough numbers. So Romeo Power has a 2.8-ish billion dollar market cap. The value for SBE is somewhere around 2.5 billion, but that's at an assumed price of $10. Because this stock price has run up so much, the expected market cap is gonna be closer to $13 billion for charge point. Neither of these companies have PE ratios because it stands for price to earnings and these companies are not bringing in positive earnings. These companies have very high price to sales ratios because this is a multiple that you pay for a company. And when investors are excited about a company, you pay a high multiple. And as an investor, you can decide for yourself what's a good multiple to pay or what's too high. And it's based on the revenue. So we have their total revenue here. On the year, Romeo Power is bringing in somewhere around $7.5 million. Honestly, they're not selling a lot of their product right now, but they expect to sell a lot more so you could factor that in. ChargePoint, on the other hand, is already bringing in a lot of revenue. They're a leader in their market. The figure right now is sitting around $150 million. And that's why when we talk about the price to sales ratio, their multiple is lower. For every dollar of sales that ChargePoint is bringing in, you're paying a multiple of over 80 for this $12.9 billion market cap. You're paying a much higher multiple for Romeo Power. But check out this revenue growth. They're expected to grow exponentially. They claim they have the ability to bring in growth over a thousand percent 
and then to nearly 3x after that, then nearly 2x again in 2023, and they're expected to bring in over a billion dollars in revenue by 2024. So like I said, you pay a multiple for growth and you can decide for yourself what's a good multiple to pay or what's too much for you. I'm long SBE, soon to be charge point. I'm not long Romeo Power because to me, the charge point's revenue in 2020 shows me a proven track record. If Romeo Power can grow like they say they're going to grow, I can wait because if these numbers are true, I'll have plenty of time to get in. Romeo's trying to compare themselves to an early Tesla, Neo, BYD, and a lot of other very successful companies. And if you look at those company stock charts, you know that as they were building their success, you had plenty of time to get into the stock. Now there's one more thing I want to do here, and that's add in blink charging to my quick analysis. And I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One reason is because according to ChargePoint, blink has about 8% of the market. I mean, even with just the number of charging ports that ChargePoint has compared to blink, it's just a different level of magnitude. So I want to end on this note, and sometimes it's an unpopular opinion. And so before I get into that, there's a couple things I have to ask you to do, and that's hit that like button, turn it blue, drop a comment if you value this content, and hit that subscribe if you haven't already for that YouTube AI. So my potentially unpopular opinion is this. There needs to be some sort of reckoning because when I look at these three market caps, something just doesn't fit here. For the company that's actually bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, they're not getting the same kind of multiple that these very speculative companies are getting. For Romeo Power, if they can deliver on what they say they're going to deliver, and if they can use the money that they received from the SPAC deal to create the near $150 million that they say they're going to make in 2021 and actually bring in that revenue, well, then this won't be such a high multiple anymore. But with Blink, they're expected to double next year to about $10 million, which is impressive, but that still leaves you at a multiple of over 200 And they're continuing to issue shares. The last Blink video I did, their shares outstanding were, was about $32 million. So again, hopefully with them using investors as a piggy bank, they can use that to make their business better and bring in more revenue. But as of right now, they're not even on the same planet as these two companies, bringing in 200 million expected and 140 million expected in 2021. Now, if we say certain EV stocks are just going to trade in multiples that could cause nosebleeds, then currently ChargePoint is severely undervalued. I recommend you do your own research. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but you've got to see that something isn't right here. And I don't think that that's something is ChargePoint. And hey, if Blink isn't the issue, ChargePoint could 4x or 5x, so I'm not selling my shares. But I do think that once a company that actually has a proven track record is brought into the market and people can start comparing these companies, I think it'll change everything. Let me know what you think in the comments or send me an email at thewealthinvestingnetwork at gmail.com because I'm not on social media. And so with that, I want to say thanks for watching. My phone's on 3%. I need to find the plug. See you in the next video.